Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're down here in my craft room and I have a little confession. I am almost a year and a half behind in my scrapbooking projects. Card making has been my main creative outlet lately, but I've kept myself from feeling the guilt, which you shouldn't feel, about kind of not being caught up by doing a couple of different things. And this helps me to keep track of my pictures and my stories, but still be able to set aside my scrapbooking to do other things. So let me tell you the things that I do. First of all, I make sure I'm always printing my pictures. I have a PM400 from Epson. which is a really nice printer. I like to print my pictures at home because I can just do it whenever I want. I can just print one or two. It's just very convenient for me. And the, the wireless printer is great because it has, you can get an app on your phone and all you have to do is you can just be watching TV and you can just print out pictures right there. And you just select the ones that you want and print them out. And then you have everything you need right there and it's it's nice. And I did my, I, I did a day in the life from Allie Edwards back in, I think it was February of 2019. And I still haven't gotten to it, but I did print the pictures. So the pictures are ready to go. And having that printer was great just to kind of help me with that. And what I do when I print the pictures afterwards, I always make sure that I put a post-it with either the story or where we were at or what we did, anything that's going to jog my memory of so that I'll, I'll be able to do a layout and remember what I did. Because, you know, if you do a lot of different things two years from when you did it, you won't remember maybe where you were at or where, where was that museum? I don't remember. Um, so make sure you always write what's going on in the picture on a little post-it or tell a good story about it, whatever you want to say. Just make sure you have it readily available so you can go back and refer to it. So second, I like to organize my pictures in these bins and you can get these. I've seen these a lot of different places. They're just, I think they're Iris brand bins and they're, they come with the, the plastic part here and then they have six cases inside. Um, this one only has five because I have my other cases somewhere else, but uh, this, they come with these little cases and you can fit quite a few pictures inside. And what I like to do is I, I'll label the bins with what's going on in the bin. So I always keep, like, say if you have a person that you want to keep all the pictures together for, I would put that in one of these little bins. This one, I, I had high hopes to start a traveler's notebook. So I had certain pictures that I wanted to put in the traveler's notebook. So this is just labeled for traveler's notebook. So anytime I take a picture, I'll just slip it in this little bin and it just opens like that. And it's, it's nice. It fits. This doesn't take up a lot of space either. So and then I just pop it in my bins and then I've got all the pictures ready to go when I need them. And also what I like to do is to keep my projects in containers. So if I have certain projects I'm working on, say uh, day in the life, for instance, this is my day in the life project container. So I have all my pictures printed there at the bottom of the container. And then I have the cards, the embellishments, whatever I want to use, even the little sleeves, they're all ready to go. So in the future, if I have the time and I want to get going on my February 20. 19 day in the life I have it here so this is really nice and I also like to keep any type of ephemera you know if you go somewhere and you you take brochures or you take you know you get take fun little trinkets or souvenirs that could fit in a in a scrapbook I like to keep everything in a little basket so and I kind of label it if I need to and just kind of keep it all together so that I know I can reach into the basket and grab whatever I need for my layout to kind of keep track of what we did um, in the pictures. So that's pretty much it. Um, this has just really helped me kind of keep everything organized, lose the guilt, and just be able to work on whatever I want to work on and know that I always have pictures available to go back to scrapbooking if I want to. And even if it takes five years to get to scrapbooking, 
you know, at least you know you have your things organized and ready to go. But this works great for me because I'll have a lot to choose from and lots of stories and so I'll be ready to go. So let me know if you have any questions about my system in the comments below. And thanks so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a great day.